What's up, guys? Another day, another video. So, I have something pretty cool planned. I have a 4,000 subscriber special coming soon. 4,000 subscribers. So, for my 4,000 subscriber special, I just really want to give a backstory. Um, I want to give a backstory about like my channel, my life, and so my subscribers, obviously there's some new ones, there's some returning. For the new ones, you guys don't know anything about me. For the returning ones, the OGs, they know a lot about me. So for the OGs, um, I know that you guys don't mind if I, you know, maybe tell a story twice or tell a fact about myself that, you know, you might already know. But um, I'm gonna start by just saying thank you. Ooh. Let's start by saying, uh, you know, obviously thank you guys so much for 4K. I'm really trying to get more and more and more. Um, my next goal is 5,000 and then 10,000, 20, 30, and so on and so forth. Um, one thing I do want to say, though, is this channel started as a black hole. This channel was never meant to get... 4,000 subscribers. This channel was never meant to be even bigger than what it is. That's because YouTube does not recommend these types of videos to people. Obviously, if you're subscribed to me, it will, but you know, you have to show a lot of interest in this type of stuff to get my video. There's also a lot of YouTubers that are so much more significant than me, so they recommend, you know, copious amounts of other videos than mine. So YouTube has pretty much set my channel up to fail and it's succeeding and it's continuing to succeed and it continues to succeed. So there's really nothing that YouTube can do to stop me at this point because eventually, um, besides like removing or guidelining my channel, which I make all my videos 18 or older. So obviously when you do that, you cannot make ad revenue. You can't put ads on your videos. You can't make money off your videos. So I literally don't make a single dollar and I don't want to, you know, I make YouTube videos to help people and because it's entertaining, it makes me, you know, happy, it makes me feel good. And most importantly, I've been doing it since 2015. So this is now seven years that I've owned this channel. Um, and I've only been uploading consistently for like a couple months. So I'm just going to keep doing that and just hope for the best. Most of you guys probably came from like a really popular video of mine. Maybe it was how to smoke weed inside with no smell or how to do smoke tricks. Whatever the case was, um, I appreciate you guys continuing to watch my videos. In my opinion, and in a lot of my subscribers' opinion, I'm the realest YouTuber there is. Um, I definitely don't bullshit anybody. I'm honest about everything, you know. Um, also, I'm a little bit sick right now, which is a basic cold, so bear with me. My lips are like insanely chapped. My nose is a little runny. So I've just been, you know, I worked my ass off today. I worked like a six hour day, um, did a couple leaf jobs. And um, yeah, there's gonna be some really dope truck camping video soon. It's almost that time of year. So stay tuned for that as well. Um, right now, truck camping is on like a huge upspring on YouTube. You know, there's there's people that truck camp that just get hundreds of thousands of views in, in a day. And honestly, I'm excited because I grew up in the country. I grew up camping. And I think my truck camping videos are going to be like superior over any other YouTuber. Especially because like there's no YouTuber that truck camps that enjoys like drinking a couple beers or smoking a joint, especially not joints. I know there is some YouTubers that will like crack a beer in their videos or whatever, but there's no truck campers that actually like to smoke, get out in nature and stuff like that. So I'm gonna be like the only adventurous slash stoner YouTuber out there. If you guys saw yesterday's video, I'm smoking on some more of that jet fuel. Again, this stuff makes me motivated to do anything. I got two leaf jobs done today, uh, four or three hours for each one, got paid good money for each one. I got some YouTube stuff done. Um, I've Everything's cleaned up. 
and pretty much now all I got to do is maybe go sit in the sauna for a little bit and take a shower and then just get ready to wind down for the rest of the day. Um, yeah, guys, <clears throat> again, a um, little bit of a backstory about like why I started making videos. I don't know if I've ever like explained this, but ever since I was a kid, um, I've always been really comfortable around, uh, like behind a camera, in front of a camera, sorry, um, and behind a camera, obviously, but um, I've always been really comfortable talking to cameras, uh, which is huge, like for, you know, I watch YouTubers sometimes that just aren't very good in front of a camera. And it, it just, you can just tell, you know, you can't like feel like you're, you're there with them. Instead, it feels like they're forcing this video and it's just awkward. But for me, I try to just be myself and I'm just loose. Like I just, I just talk. Like I don't, you know, I don't like try too hard. I don't try to be perfect. All my videos are unedited one take videos, which is what I love about my channel. There's, some, there's an old stoner YouTuber called Token Daily. He did one take type videos. He would add an intro, but he would do the whole video in one take, in one take usually. And um, and like, I, I honestly like, like that type of video. I know like most people want like really quality shit nowadays, which I would totally, you know, I'm gonna invest in my YouTube channel and stuff. But if there's only 4,000 subscribers, and you guys just like the up close and personal smoke sessions, talk sessions, talk sessions and stuff like that. There's no point of having a 1080p camera for that. Instead, I can use my iPhone and then whenever I start doing truck camping and stuff that takes editing, I'm going to use real equipment, real cameras, and it'll be really good quality. Um, probably won't have a drone for a while. However, a good camera. Sorry about that. I do not know why that stopped. I must be running out of storage, but... Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm gonna get a good camera and good stuff like that. But anyway, so the main reason I started making videos on YouTube was basically just for entertainment and because it made me happy. And because, you know, I made one video one time and didn't look at my channel for a year and that video had like 100,000 views on it. it. Gave me like an insane amount of motivation. And ever since then, I've just kind of stuck with it. Yes, in my early videos, I was underage, but now I'm like well over the legal age. So like, I can legally make these videos. I'm not really breaking any law or like breaking any like YouTube laws. And the reason is, is because I age restrict everything, like I said, so I can't make money off it and I don't really care to. Um, I don't really make videos to make money. I simply just do it for educational purposes. And because, you know, if, if, you, if you guys subscribe to me and you guys like genuinely um, like spend your time watching my videos, that's more than money to me that's that's like earning a friend earning a fan whatever the case is that's more valuable to me than money and i feel like if i just be me then money will sort itself out and i know a lot of people are gonna be like that's not how life works man you got to make the money you have to push for the money we'll just see everybody's different everybody's life is different everybody has a different plan for their life so i'm just gonna do it my way with all due respect The best comments I get are the ones that are like, your videos help me with my depression. Your videos help me get through the day. And you know, that's another reason why I make videos because there is people out there that are genuinely fans. And even if there's just, you know, a hundred fans out there, those 100 fans m mean the world to me. Um, I've had a lot of people hit me up on Instagram. I've had a lot of people hit me up on the comments. Um, and stuff like that and pretty much every time that that happens it puts a smile on my face so